So the big easy update that everybody's been waiting on is right around the corner as an image has surfaced which is rumored to potentially be Vultures 2 merch plus a huge Jordan brand 2025 leak has been discovered that many people seem to be very excited about so stay tuned we're gonna touch on all of this here in a minute but to begin I do want to start with today's releases which was pretty light which is cool because it's not every day we're looking to spend all of our hard-earned money on the latest releases but being is that I'm personally a kid that grew up checking my east bay catalog for the latest releases i still enjoy you know seeing what is releasing so from nike and the sneakers app these first two pairs seem to be centered around the paris olympic games with the gold color scheme so these jordan sixes do happen to be a woman's exclusive release which they're nicknaming pearl now i thought these actually had a leather finish but upon closer inspection these actually do feature a suede finish which i'm not really sure how jordan brand enthusiasts think about that but i would say as far as this pair one of these more like off-brand releases now for these 180s which this model originally debuted back in 91 designed by the legend tinker hatfield now i'm not sure if this concord color scheme is an og i know it is a remake of an older release but as far as the gold concord theme again a um, nice pair centered around the summer olympic games and now for these dunks which are again are a woman's exclusive release nike's calling these the olive aura and oil green so as far as this pair i think they executed these well i enjoy the hairy suede finish on these night earth tone and i would say if these joints were a collaboration i think people would be a lot more excited for these but nice gr pair now as far as adidas Previously, you know, we were able to take advantage of this crazy mega blowout Yeezy sale, you know, with pairs discounted up to 70% off. So this discount was available just in certain regions of the world. Um, our bros in the EU and UK, I was getting a whole bunch of comments saying something about them not getting the discount because uh, they enforce a return policy, which it seems like that happens to be misinformation as today we did see these big savings hit the EU and UK. So salute to all of our bros long overdue you guys finally get to take advantage of the discount which is awesome but I did still see some people complaining that they didn't actually load any new stock and these were just the leftover pairs so I guess uh, you can never give the people exactly what they want but salute to Adidas for blessing our bros overseas with this huge discount and let me know if you guys grabbed anything today and for Vultures 2 now the highly anticipated album just released last weekend I want to say it dropped either late Friday or early Saturday morning but the project is officially out now i would say based off early impressions from fans i would say overall we see a lot of negative reception uh, surrounding this project overall online i would say is the general narrative but i would have to say that personally you know while the album is getting a lot of heat I'm actually enjoying it myself personally. Um, I know some of the tracks are unfinished as far as the mixing goes. I know we've heard so many of the leaks. People aren't happy with the production changes, the mixes and all that good stuff. But the great news is they are updating things and just personally overall, I'm just enjoying the fact that we do have new music. Now, the great thing is, is on top of the mixes and everything being updated, the vocals to the tracks, we also had a new record in Take Off Your Dress, which takes you back to that classic yay, soul sample, heavy type of vibe. Kind of away from like the trap influence production, which uh, the yay core fans seem to really enjoy this record. Overall, it's getting a positive reception and kind of changing the all whole overall narrative you know of this actual project right here now if you're looking to check this out it is currently only available via vultures 2 deluxe edition which you guys can purchase right now for just five bucks via yeezy.com and apparently the record will be added to streaming platforms later and on top of that apparently uh they have more surprises in store for us so hopefully more records added to the project i already enjoy what we're hearing but who would complain with more records being added to an already great album which i would have to say vultures one and two i may be a little biased but probably my favorite albums of the year so far actually i would say definitely stamped as my favorite albums this year now we do have the listening event coming up on friday it's also important to note that throughout the entire rollout if you can even call it that it feels like they just threw this joint up on streaming platforms we haven't actually seen yay promote the album not one single time he's been super low-key so i'm assuming that 
as far as Friday's listening event in Salt Lake City, we could potentially see a huge surprise. Now, a cool thing that we did see, which I've been hoping for merch on Friday, but what we did see is that for the Taiwan listening experience, it looks like some images have surfaced, which is rumored to be Vultures merch, as it does have the Vultures graphic reading, Vultures listening experience, stadium, Korea. So I'm sorry, not Taiwan, this is for the Korea listening event. So it's already confirmed that that listening event will have its own exclusive merch, which seems to have this big cross graphic right across the center of the uh, t-shirt or whatever this type of garment is right here so confirmed exclusive merch for that listening event we'll have to wait and see if we get anything that comes out on friday or if we get any updates to yeezy.com which apparently fans have discovered that on the back end there is now a new section for uh, merch or whatever or for collections i guess which would potentially be new clothing items so a lot to look forward to i would expect to see a huge announcement you know with friday with the listening event and everything or actually in the next few days or so as it looks like it has been discovered that Ye has actually reactivated his Instagram account he's been off the grid with him coming back to IG hopefully that means that we can expect to see a huge announcement here in the next couple of days or so so be on the lookout for more updates on Vultures too and I'm just hyped to see potential merch hitting Yeezy.com and lastly another huge Jordan brand leak for 2025 which is already stacked as far as releases goes but it looks like we got another Jordan 1 High Union collab collaboration to look forward to now in 2018 them jordan one unions a lot of people would say one of the greatest jordan collaborations of all time now last year union hit us with a jordan one which based off the concept and mock-up photos people were very excited about that release the concepts actually look closely to the 2018 pair but i would say a lot of people were thrown off when we actually saw the retail release feature that huge like stitching across the upper kind of giving it like that baseball look or whatever people were absolutely outraged by them joints jordan purists were embarrassed we saw them hit for under retail so i would say as far as this year's release people are optimistic by this mock-up image but once again remember guys this is just a mock-up photo and not actually what the sneakers will look like but i would have to say that if jordan brand does execute these and union delivers a product that looks anything like this mock-up photo i would say sneakerheads definitely will be pleased so i guess you got to give the people what what they want especially with the narrative currently that a lot of these union collaborations that have dropped as of recently aren't really hitting the same so if they hit us with a jordan one high the way people want to see it do you guys feel like that would change that narrative overall or do you just feel like as far as the jordan one is kind of falling off all together and people aren't going to be really too excited for this type of release so we'll see how it all plays out once we get closer to the release but once again you can add this to the list of more exciting 2025 jordan and nike releases which have already released a year in advance so drop your feedback on these as well as all the topics covered here in today's video of course we're gonna wrap things up right here i'm ja so of course i'm gonna catch you guys tomorrow in the meantime stay safe stay blessed and i'm out y'all Love. Peace.